our lives will forever be divided into before and after October 26, 2014. You decided to take three precious lives, Joy, Lindsay, and Emily. They are, they were and continue to be loved by many people. And you decided to end their lives. You planned what you would do and you carried it out. I cry every day wondering what my sister thought in those last few seconds of her life. After she walked into the basement and saw you standing there with a gun in your hand. The shock and disbelief she must have felt to see her son standing there and knowing she was going to die by his hand. I find some peace in knowing that she closed her beautiful blue eyes on evil and when she opened them she saw Jesus. What did Joy and Lindsay say to you when they saw you standing there with a gun? Did they ask you what you were doing or why you had a gun? Did they have time to say anything? What ugly, hurtful things did you say to them? And Emily, sweet Emily, what hell did you put her through? How long did you torture her? How long was it after you shot her the first time did you shoot her again and again? There is no punishment great enough for what you have done. Our family is broken and devastated and will never recover. We will always be living one day at a time. You have denied them many, many years of happiness and the ability to make memories. You stole that from them and us. I know these words spoken here today will mean nothing to you. You are incapable of feeling anything except for yourself. You've always been that way. That part of a person that makes them human is missing in you. You care only about yourself. You have no heart, no compassion, no soul. You are an empty shell. And now that shell will be kept in a box with bars, locked doors, tall fences, and razor wire. A cage. You will be kept in a cage just like an animal, just like you deserve. You put on a good show October 20th, 2014. We had early Thanksgiving because Emily was home. And she hadn't been able to be home for the holidays for several years. There you sat, eating and laughing with all of us, and all the time you knew what you were planning. Looking back, we believe you hinted about your plans when you and Gary were outside smoking. What a big man you must have felt like that night. I don't think you feel like that big man today. Your evil actions took three precious lives away from us. Joy, Lindsay, and Emily are gone because of you. What a waste. They were good, decent, humble, kind Christian people. They will be forever missed by those of us who love them. You could have done anything with your life. You spent your time hating Joy, Lindsay, and Emily. You spent your time being jealous of Emily's success. She was successful because she worked hard toward her goals. She didn't waste her time being jealous of what someone else was doing. You're smart, and if you had only applied yourself to do good things in life instead of evil, your possibilities were endless. You had the opportunity to go to college and become whatever you dreamed of being, but you decided to marry, murder your parents and sisters. What a waste. Your feelings of entitlement, greed, jealousy, and hatred of the people who loved you the most were yours alone. There are people who forgive the person responsible for their loved one's death. That will never happen in this case. God will deliver the final, ultimate judgment, and I trust him to be fair and swift with his justice. You are responsible for the murder of Joy, Lindsay, and Emily. The journey you started us on on that beautiful Sunday morning in October will never end. You murdered my family. Joy, my beloved sister and best friend, the only one in the world who understood me because we had lived through our childhood together. Our childhood changed us and no one in the world will ever be able to understand except us. Our mother was diagnosed with brain cancer when she was 34. I was six and Joy was three. We never knew where we would be at night because Mama could go to Vanderbilt at any time. I learned to pack our suitcase and take care of Joy. She gave me a guardian angel charm a few years ago and said I was always her guardian angel while growing up. 
We survived our childhood together and all the tragedies of life, we faced them together. Joy was a second mother to my daughter, a grandmother to my grandchildren. She loved them like they were her own and they loved her more than words can say. She was a strong Christian and loved her family. Lindsay, my brother-in-law, a devoted husband and father, a hard-working, strong Christian man who loved his God and his family above everything else. Emily Catherine, a brilliant, beautiful, talented, hardworking young woman. She loved her dream job of working with horses. She made that goal when she was a little girl, and she worked toward that goal every day. She had a bright future ahead of her, and you stole that from her. Three beautiful lives gone by your hand. A family devastated, never to recover, all because of you. What a waste. They deserved more time, more memories, and so did we. Yet here you sit. I know you have no sorrow, no remorse. Your only thoughts are of yourself. You deserve the maximum sentence that law allows, and that won't even come close to what you deserve. The remainder of your life will be in a place with bars, locked doors, and razor wire. You will never breathe a breath of free air. You will never have someone who loves you fix your favorite meal for your birthday. You will never have anyone care about you. You see, you murdered the three who cared the most for you, and you murdered all those feelings and those of us that were left behind on October 26, 2014. What a waste. Thank you, Ms. Williams.